Alright guys, Tom here and welcome to a new video and today I'm doing my last Royal Rumble 2014 prediction video and of course this is the Royal Rumble match at the Royal Rumble 2014. My winner is predicted in this video. How freaking epic is that? I'm going to predict who I think is going to win the Royal Rumble 2014 match last year. Predicted Cena got it right. So who knows? I might even get this year's Royal Rumble winner and get two in a row for Royal Rumble predicted victories. But I think that, yes, Daniel Bryan is going to win the WD Royal Rumble 2014. My top four originally was Roman Reigns, CM Punk, Batista, and Daniel Bryan. But I do now think that Daniel Bryan is, in fact, going to win the WWE Royal Rumble 2014. 14. Stick around in this video because I'm going to talk about a lot of things, not just who is going to win, but I do think it is going to be, yes, 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 Daniel Bryan. How good is it going to be if Daniel Bryan wins the Royal Rumble, points at the WrestleMania 30 sign, and the whole crowd is going, yes, yes. It's going to be so freaking epic. I've got goosebumps right now, but of course, we've got 29 other men to discuss. And we've already got about 20 people who have already in the Royal Rumble. I think it was creeping up to 25 on this week's SmackDown. So we've only got around 5 people who may possibly be, re be returning at the Dury Royal Rumble 2014. I mean, it's all up to what you think. Nobody knows who's been contracted in the last few weeks. But we do now know that Batista is going to be in the Royal Rumble. But might 5 maybe people who I think might make a special return will be Rob Van Dam, Christian, Evan Bourne. Corey Graves, and then you would have, what have I said? I've said Rob Van Dam, Christian, uh, and then it would be Chris Jericho. So it'd be Rob Van Dam, Christian, Chris Jericho, Evan Bourne, and Corey Graves would probably be my five because Corey Graves did actually, uh, he actually uh, tweeted out that it is in his hometown, the Royal Rumble. So it is probably a rumor that he might actually be in the Royal Rumble. It's a possibility could make his in-ring debut on the Royal Rumble 2014 pay-per-view. But starting off, we do now know that CM Punk will be the number one entrant. And I do actually think that number two always has to be something to do with the number one entrant. Last year, it was Chris Jericho because Dolph Ziggler got the number one spot, so CM Punk has now got number one, and I do think it's a high possibility that it'll either be Chris Jericho or one member of the Shield, probably Seth Rollins or Roman Reigns, because to be honest, he has some great matches with both Seth Rollins and Roman Reigns, and it would be a good way to do a storyline. What they could do is have CM Punk come out as number one, of course, and then one of the members of the Shield comes out, and then the, the number three pick and number four pick will be the two other members of the Shield, and then you've got three of the members of the Shield against CM Punk for the first four entrants, and then you could even have the next two guys being the New Age Outlaws or even Kane, and then CM Punk is outnumbered. That would keep with the the storyline of the uh, of the authority ganging up against CM Punk. I do think that is one of the ways they could go, but I definitely think that probably the second entrance will be one of the Shield members because if we're going to make it Chris Jericho, they did it last year, so it really wouldn't be a special. So if they did a Shield member, they could do, have a good bout for the first couple of minutes and then probably have one, maybe another member of the Shield come out. I think maybe two would be the maximum. I'm not sure if they'd go with three. I think they'd probably keep Roman Reigns until one of the last ones because he probably will be in the top four. So they'll probably maybe make Dean and Seth Rollins come out of the uh, of, out on two and three, maybe. I'm not really sure if they're probably going to keep Roman Reigns way back until maybe 29-30. Not particularly sure, but I think Roman Reigns will be the one of the last entrants into the Rumble. But what they could do is have two of the Shield members to keep with the authority. And I might even see Kane coming in as number five. Maybe they might do that. Now, I'm going to talk about what I thought who my top four was. Now, I'm going to start off with Roman Reigns. Now, a lot of people thought that Roman Reigns was going to win the WWE Royal Rumble 2004. As the weeks have gone on, I've started saying no, no, no. I don't think Roman Reigns is winning it this year, guys. I'm sorry. A lot of people are big fans of Roman Reigns for some strange reason. I'm not really a big fan of him, to be honest. I think the only reason why people are fans of him is because he's getting a push. I don't really see anything unique in this guy compared to anybody else on the roster. Now, to be honest, the reason why Roman Reigns isn't winning is the main problem is that the Dudley World Heavyweight Championship is 99% probable that it will main event WrestleMania. I mean, it's the new unified title. It's the only big title in the WWE now. So the fact that it's its first WrestleMania since it's been unified, it should main event WrestleMania. It's got to. Surely it's got to main event WrestleMania to show its speciality. I mean, it's the number one title. It should main event WrestleMania. I mean, are people really going to put money 
into a Roman Reigns main event. It's WrestleMania 30. 30. Are they really going to put their money on Roman Reigns facing probably Randy Orton in the main event of WrestleMania 30? I mean, the win of the Royal Rumble needs to be there. They need to be a top guy already. And Roman Reigns is already in the middle of a push. He's not a top guy already. We know that it'll probably main event WrestleMania, the WWE World Heavyweight Championship match. So the winner of this match probably will main event WrestleMania. But Roman Reigns isn't there yet. It's such a big money factor. He He's not money yet. He's not. They're still pushing him. But a Royal Rumble win would be too big. It would be too big too fast because he's still slowly building himself up. It'd be way too fast to put him in a main event of WrestleMania, especially WrestleMania 30 in a WWE World Heavyweight Championship match. He's not there yet. He needs to be a big guy that's winning this. It's not Roman Reigns, guys. He's not there yet. He's definitely not winning this WrestleMania 30 match. And Batista... Batista's not winning it either, guys. I'm sorry. They've made it way too freaking obvious. I mean, the only reason why people watch the Royal Rumble or buy the Royal Rumble is because of the mark-out moments and the surprises. It's not going to be a surprise when Batista walks in there and wins. Nobody's going to be surprised. And we saw Randy Orton and Batista face off at a Mania before. Nobody liked it. It didn't bring money in. It didn't bring that cash in. It's not got... WrestleMania main event worthy all over it. I can't buy myself into a Batista versus Randy Orton match. Now, maybe if Batista won and then Brock Lesnar won at Elimination Chamber and then it'd be a World Heavyweight Championship match between Brock and Batista, I could buy into that. But currently, I don't see Randy Orton and Brock, uh, Batista being a big money moment. I don't see that being my special WrestleMania 30 moment. And to be honest, they've put Batista on the radio advert of Royal Rumble. I've been listening to Capital FM and Batista is on the Royal Rumble advert. How obvious do they want to make it that this guy's winning? He's not winning, guys. He's not. They're doing they're, they're doing a swerve. He's definitely not winning. They can't make it that obvious. I mean, it's the most unpredictable pay-per-view, maybe beside Money in the Bank. They can't make it that obvious. Surely not. They can't. They're, each, they've, they're talking about Batista as if he's the only guy in the Royal Rumble. They can't make him win. I mean, it would just be a complete waste of an hour watching it if we knew Batista was winning. They're not going to do that. It's got to be a surprise. They aren't just going to make Batista walk in there and win. No way in hell. I cannot see that whatsoever. And the other guy that I thought was winning, but I don't think he's winning anymore, is CM Punk. Now, firstly, I want to actually discuss why I don't think Batista's win. I mean, people have been putting their hearts out for the last few years. Can really people see Batista going into the main event of WrestleMania after four years and putting up a good fight? To be honest... Do people really care about that? They want to see the superstars they've seen this last year. They don't want to see somebody just walk in and have a title match like Batista. That's what happened with The Rock and people were annoyed. They didn't want to see Rock come straight back and have a title match. People wouldn't be happy that Batista was in the main event of WrestleMania 30 when he hasn't done anything for the last 30 years. That's why I think Daniel Bryan is winning. And the last thing, why I don't think CM Punk is winning is because he's already in a storyline with the authority... And it does look like the authority are slightly peeling away from Randy Orton. We did have a tease on Monday Night Raw that they're not really on the same page anymore. So it could be a tease that they're not really friends anymore. And they may be peeling away from Randy Orton in the future. And to be honest, it does look like CM Punk is going to face Triple H at WrestleMania 30. This week, there's been loads of rumors flooding in that that will be the match at WrestleMania 30. Not necessarily the one that will main event WrestleMania 30, but one of the big matches at WrestleMania, maybe the th top three matches, that will be one of the matches. So really, that's not going to be the match where CM Punk is not going to win the, the Royal Rumble. He can't, if he's going to face Triple H, then he can't be the number one contender for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. Also, CM Punk did have a kind of disappointing year in 2013. So can really people buy into the fact that Triple H CM Punk wins the Rumble and then goes on to WrestleMania to win? I mean, he didn't specifically have a great 2013. Maybe one of his worst two years of was 2013 last year. Very, very poor year by CM Punk. Would he be the guy to win the Rumble when he doesn't really have a lot of momentum at all at the moment. I mean, he spent the last few weeks getting buried by the Shield and stuff like that in a pretty lame storyline that nobody really cares about. Would people like CM Punk to come out of nowhere and win the Rumble when he really doesn't have a lot of momentum at the moment? In my opinion, he's quite stale at the moment. He's not a very good face, in my opinion. Can't wait till he turns heel again. Is he really ready for that, that WrestleMania and Royal Rumble win? I don't think so. I don't think he's got a lot of momentum for him at the moment. And that's why I think... Brian to win the Royal Rumble 2014.
pay per view. He's got so much momentum at the moment. I know I said earlier in this video that I don't think Roman Reigns is winning because he's not there yet. But Daniel Bryan, this could be the next step for him be for him to be that guy. If he wins the Royal Rumble, imagine the crowd going, yes, yes, yes. It would be so freaking epic. That will be the next step. And then for him to go on to main event WrestleMania, maybe against Cena for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. Or even a rematch against Randy Orton. Because we'd know that he'd win, so we'd be happy and we'd like it. I'm not sure if I'd really buy into that. But to be honest, I do see Daniel Bryan winning this. I mean, he even hinted it on Monday Night Raw. He said he can't wait to have his match with Bray Wyatt. Because Eric Rowan and Luke Harper are in the Rumble match, so won't be at ringside for Bray's match. And that was a, that was to maybe make you believe that Daniel Bryan won't be in the Rumble because he's got a match himself, but he goes on to win against Bray Wyatt like I predicted and then enters the Royal Rumble at probably number 30 and then goes on to win. I mean, they added that the fact that Luke Harper and Eric Rowan were in the Rumble to make you think that no chance Daniel Bryan's having a match and then going in the Rumble match and then he does and goes and wins. That'll put him over so freaking much it wouldn't even be funny how over Daniel Bryan would be this would be the next step for him to go on to Wrestlemania 30 I mean he's got so much momentum at the moment surely they can't drop the ball right now this would be the moment of my 2014 in WWE if Daniel Bryan was going to win the main event of Royal Rumble and win the Royal Rumble 2014 he's so over now if they drop the ball now it would be a shame they missed the opportunity for him to go on a long title run in, in late 2013 recover the fans and make him win the Royal Rumble 2014. I can see it. Can you guys see it? I really, really hope Daniel Bryan wins the WWE World Heavyweight Championship as well at WrestleMania 30. Cannot wait, but that's my big ball prediction that Daniel Bryan is going to go on to main event WrestleMania 30 by winning the Royal Rumble match. What do you guys think? I think my last four would probably be... It would either be Biggie Langston, Roman Reigns, CM Punk, definitely Batista. Might even throw Del Rio in there. And then you'd obviously have Daniel Bryan as well. So that would be my pick. One of them, four of them guys would be in it. So CM Punk, you know, people like that. Maybe even a Chris Jericho if he returns. you definitely got to have probably a Biggie Langton or a Roman Reigns in the last four. Then you'd have to pick from, obviously, Daniel Bryan because I think he's going to win. And then maybe Batista. That would probably be my top four or last four, in fact. And then Daniel Bryan goes on to toss all of them out, probably. What's your prediction, guys? They also see Roman Reigns spearing the heck out of loads of different people. I can see that happening. What do you guys think? I think Daniel Bryan's winning it. I hope Daniel Bryan's winning it. Thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully, in fact, you have enjoyed this video. Enjoyed my Royal Rumble predictions. Thanks for watching. Take care. Spite your hair. Share your predictions in this video.